All right, so once again here with Mark from Moz Customs with my board here, we're gonna fix up. So what are we doing today? Well, Paul, I've already gone ahead and fixed your, um, fixed your board, unfortunately. So I think, I mean, today we're doing a reef ding, so we might we're not give your board a reef what? ding if you want. Yeah, so like a typical, you know, like you've hit the reef. What, what the hell? You've hit the rocks, or even worse, you put it down in the car park and some you know, stones put a hole in it or whatever. So what most people um, do, if you want to come around here, you can see the previous repairs on this board that um, someone who's called Anton might have done. But anyway, um, this is um, the ding stick that comes in, you know, like a sausage. You cut off a bit and knead it to mix the two parts of epoxy and put it on as a putty. That works really well, but as you can see, it's just ugly. I will say that works really well because when I grind it back, it's quite a solid, hard product, but it's quite difficult to achieve a really good seal around the edges here. Um, and as I said, ugly. The other thing people use is things like Solar Res or Sun Cure. Um, I actually prefer this one because it's got a lot of fiber in it. Um, so it's a UV cure that you just put out in the sun. For me, because I go through lots and lots of it at times, I buy this, um, that's sort of a hundred bucks for the litre, so you probably don't want to buy that. But this is exactly the same as that. I'm just going to show you a slightly better way because most people uh, most people bung the, the resin on and um, end up with a, a big ugly lump, which is fine, but just a really, really quick tip to make it ever so slightly easier. A little bit of plastic over the top stops it from all disappearing on you. In your pack of solar res or that sun cure, you normally get a pop stick. Um, and it, it's going to be a little bit thicker than this, the one with the fibre in it. But we need stuff all. I'll put a tiny little dob on there. And then the all important part, a piece of plastic, but something that's nice and flat. I've got this straight out of the packet so it's not screwed up. Um, but anything you can do that's nice and flat, not pushing it down too hard. Now, as soon as we put it in the sun, I can guarantee the wind will pick up. There's never any wind when you're at the beach, but there's wind when you want to hold a piece of plastic to a board. So just quickly taping it down, um, just in any old way so it doesn't fly away. Not trying to, not trying to help it keep extra flat or anything like that just just so it's not going to disappear on us um got a little bit of a wrinkle there yeah i don't know if you can see it can you see the actual circle around the outside of it, where it's sort of blended into the paint a bit yeah i think so all right and we will stick that in the sun which wa summer perfect Still got a bit of plastic fly away. So that product that I've used there normally takes a couple of minutes. All right, um, I think that's gone off enough just having a bit of a feel, it feels like it's hardened. So I'll just take the plastic off really gently um, and then leave it in the sun for another minute because the plastic lets the UV through, but, but you know, different grades of plastic and different thicknesses, it might stop a little bit of the light coming through. So I'm just gonna leave it in the sun properly for like another minute. Um, and then we'll bring it in. We've just brought the board back in. So this had around about oh, two minutes in the sun with the plastic over it. Then it had another two minutes in the sun without the plastic. Um, there's a tiny little bit of a lip there because we're never going to get it perfectly flat. But as you can see, it hasn't got that normal great big lump that you see when people normally do um, solar res type repairs. Um, so that's ready to go. We could go sailing on that now. It's not a structural part of the board, so there's no need to ever repair that now properly. The water can't get in. We're away. Certainly looks better than this kind of stuff. However, if we do want to make it look a little bit nicer, just flatten it off a bit with a, going with a 180 wet. I love these rub back finishes because they're quite easy. Um, if I had to put a bit more effort in there, we might have been able to hide it in the more black scratches, but 
It is our desert repair. Um, so now that we've got that flat, if we wanted to repair it properly, and of course we are only doing the really, really, really quick repair. So if I wanted to forget about everything else, slightly clean cloth, um, a little bit of flat black, and then, not that I have it, if we, I've never been able to match this yellow, it's a horrible thing to try and match. From that repair there, if we then went over that with a yellow, and then slightly rubbed it back to duplicate these scratched looks, you'd probably hide it reasonably well. Um, so there we have it, the quickest and easiest repair. I think we put around about three minutes total effort in, so <laughs> done. <laughs>